You have to defend two points of Hanmura for three minutes. Your team has more ults, including a save ult. Opponents only have a pathetic pulse. The tome is a great choice given the enemy dive orientation and especially the presence of a tracer. Tobe deals extremely high damage, but the demanding shooting mechanic does not allow free choice of targets. However, in narrow corridors, it is difficult to miss, just as it is difficult not to hit the tanks. Tobe is resistant to diving, and his turret additionally takes space from enemy squishes. And in general, the map is well suited for playing Tobe Zone, especially given the popularity of this narrow corridor where it is very easy to kill the enemy team with lava. I would call the choice of a place for the turret a failure in advance. This spot is good as long as the opponent doesn't know about it. Otherwise, the turret is easy to destroy with point-blank fire. Based on the opponent's peak, there are two circumstances that you should pay attention to. One, if the enemies have a dive, they will probably jump to this area. From this spot, the turret will not help with the enemy in the high ground. It will only be useful when contesting a point. 2. The turret must be protected from the enemy soldier. If the soldier walks along the main, the turrets are over. If he goes to the high ground, the turret will be useful. This spot only helps against the tracer and in the contest. But who are you protecting from the tracer? Zen and Anna. So the turret should be positioned so that Zen and Anna are in sight. This task is better handled by another option. Let this place be more dangerous, but this way the turret will be useful. I believe that the turret should be in the safest possible place, but at the same time it should shoot. What was your turret doing most of the time? In my opinion, the turret should have stood on the high ground with you at normal times, during a counter-attack you must rearrange it to help you. Well, in the contest, the ideal spot for the turret is around here. The idea should be clear the turret sees the place where the enemy will definitely appear. It should be dangerous for the enemy to be in the place from which he sees the turret. The enemy must risk trying to break the turret. If you decide to go further you should already create a turret to help you. Leave her behind and your chances of surviving and killing the enemy will increase significantly. Proper use of a hammer. You have a Zen behind you that literally has no other healing targets. Wait until he hangs an orb on you and only then climb forward. Always count on you to get a couple of headshots under the mercy boost, don't go if it can kill you. Your ult is almost ready, it was safe enough for you to farm it on monkey. First, you could be hooked. Secondly, if the enemy monkey ults you should stay away from places where you don't want to be booked. For example, you don't want to be thumped towards a whole bunch of enemies. You should especially stay away from the narrow corridors where the monkey will beat you to death. Classic Combo As I said, the map is so convenient that you can wipe enemies even without gravel, it only provides stability. Incorrect use of a hammer. Just creates a new turret in the old location. You have wasted a lot of time. You spent a cooldown to get back into position faster. The main threat to you is the soldier's visor. Even if the enemy takes a point, he is unlikely to be able to hold it if the soldier does not take a good position. And what are you doing in these decisive seconds? You climb again, there is a heal nearby, the armor ability will soon roll back. You didn't place the turret again. 
the nanomoke creates a space and the turret can fire long enough. There are a great variety of TP options at this point. In the description there is a link to a Stevo video about Hanmura. There are not all options, but the most useful ones. In 95% of cases, it is enough to create a TP directly on the point or on the right high ground. In this case, the right side of the point is not protected by anything at all and the TP to the right top will be ideal. You may not know exactly where the enemies are, ask the team to give info. Of course, they may not answer you, but the higher the rank, the better team play and the easier it is to play on Symmetra. So what have you done in this position? Broken teleport. Spam the little. The distance is big, your balls 100% won't kill anyone. A lot of time has passed since you were in position. You could throw a turret, and the cooldown would be ready again. Imagine that at this moment there were two turrets under your feet, and the teleport would be ready for use you would easily kill Baptist. In fact, you shouldn't have been in the high ground at all. It was necessary to go to the point, place turrets and spam from a medium distance. Perhaps some kind of enemy squish got baited and went under the turrets to certain death. Even without killing anyone, you would create a lot of space and farm the percentage of the ultimate. Okay, you teleported the turrets. But why didn't you immediately teleport with the right click pressed? It is much easier to hit from close range, besides, while the turrets are still intact, they slow down Hanzo and it is easier to hit him. You missed the moment, and by the time you teleported, the turrets were already broken. You shouldn't have given yourself away so early. Three more seconds and you are almost guaranteed to be able to avoid any threat through the teleport. You come back to the high ground and keep spamming. The enemy Symmetra already has an ultimate. Do you feel the difference? This is what I was talking about before. As you can see, Baptiste went under the turrets. But there could be three of them dot and a lucky ball hit and the balance of power between the teams will be reversed. At the end of your raid, you only have 50% of your ultimate. And it should have been 100%. Here only Hanzo and Mercy, against you and Zen. Plus, your Zria will be arriving soon. Definitely you should close the distance behind the bell. This will allow you to use the turrets more efficiently, because your presence will not give Hanzo the space to break them so easily. Why do you invariably choose Hope over Baptiste of these two targets? Baptiste might already be dead. It makes sense to choose the easiest targets until your laser is charged. But the thicker the charge, the more difficult targets you can hit. The point of putting a teleport here was only to kill the enemy Symmetra. You have a full charge, you must win. But why don't you charge right click before entering the teleporter? In addition, there is a place nearby where the teleporter and you yourself would be safer. What is even more ridiculous is the timing chosen for teleportation. 
the right click takes a very long time to charge and flies very slowly. There is no problem guessing the save time window. Your aim on Top John seems to be not bad, but you periodically climb to receive fatal damage for no reason. In the segment of the match I examined, the turret did nothing useful at all, although it could. Given that the turret deals 30% of Top John's damage on average, you still have a lot to learn. With Symmetra, things are much worse. I'm sure there is some fundamental reason why you chose this direction. I hope you take Symmetra not only on Hanmura, because this is a character that requires a lot of experience, and even only at the first point you can put a teleport. Five or six different ways. And that's just an attack. Remember that Symmetra's gameplay is all about combining abilities and constantly controlling cooldowns. Just spamming with the right click is not as effective as spamming with the right click and at the same time luring the enemy under the turrets. In any case, it is enough to accumulate an ultimate and the point will surely be captured. Attackers benefit from chaos and exchanges, defenders seek to stabilize the situation. At least on the first point, as long as attackers spawn closer than defenders spawn. In short, first of all you have to evaluate the peak of the opponents and choose the least protected side for teleportation. Then, together with your teammates, you kill the opponents who have strayed from the team or you start contesting the point, having previously placed the turrets. Capturing the first point is easy and the second is hard. So if possible, it's better to be greedy and save the wall to capture the second point. And for heaven's sake, do not attack the second point through the teleporter on the left side if the enemy has already managed to group up. 